Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a couple of fun projects to share with you featuring the new Christmas cash kit along with several of the add-on products. So this is what comes in the Christmas cash kit. You get the money card dynamics. There's the Christmas cash stamp set. A lot of fun sentiments that you can mix and match for your Christmas cash giving. There is the Christmas compliments dynamics die set. And then there's the price tag stamp set that you can add um, the money amount if you want to do that. And then there's also the little, I don't know what you call these, but I think they're listed as lip balm pouches because in previous projects you could put lip balm in them but you get 10 in the pack and then there's also the feeling festive paper pad and I do believe that several or maybe all of these can be purchased individually if you're not interested in buying the kit uh, and then you're also going to get a bunch of solid color cardstock so I'm going to start with the money card dynamic set and this really is the base to making your little money card and or money tag it can be a card a tag however you want to do it but this is your little base panel it's approximately uh, an a2 size uh, card size so i'm going to die cut it out of that green all of the cardstock i'm using is what's included in the christmas cash kit so i die cut two panels one for the front one for the back and then these are the little rectangular things that coordinate with the lip balm pouch, but we're gonna use those for a money pouch. Here's the Christmas cash stamp set. What I'm doing is just kind of getting the lay of the land. There's really a million and one different layouts that you can choose and create. If you look at the website, all of the My Favorite Things designers have knocked it out of the park with inspiration using this card kit or cash kit. So I'm gonna just die cut a little border out of some of that feeling festive paper pad, a little bit on the bottom. And now I'm gonna die cut that rectangular opening that allows for your little lip balm pouch to peek through. Although it's not a lip balm pouch here, we're doing a cash pouch. Okay, so I take a lighter shade of green uh, that makes a nice little border for your pouch opening. Again, that's another cardstock included in the kit. And then I'll die cut another little border out of that feel and festive paper pad. So you got a little border on the bottom, a little pattern paper border on the top. Just trying to zhuzh it up, make it feel festive. Okay, so I'm using some liquid glue to adhere that border uh, for my little pouch thingamajiggy. A little liquid glue to adhere the pattern paper border on top and bottom. This comes together so easy. Once you get the idea, you could just pump out a bunch of these. And if you like to give cash gifts, you know, for different, you know, like teachers, mailmen, delivery men, uh, neighbor, and you'll see when I show you the add-on, it just makes your mind explode of all the possibilities for cash gifts. Now for the sentiment uh, from the Christmas cash stamp set, I'm gonna emboss it in white right onto this panel of green. I love to emboss sentiments on dark solid color cardstock. It really pops. So I rubbed it down first with a magic powder bag, inking it up with Versamark ink. I like to stamp it twice to make it nice. Sometimes lately I've been stamping it three times because you ever emboss something and the embossing powder didn't get good coverage and so your, your embossed sentiment just doesn't look rich. I like to make sure that I got a really good coverage with my embossing ink so that I get a, just a nice rich embossed sentiment. Okay, now for the backer or the back panel, there's a little slit die in the money card dynamics and I'm gonna die cut that little slit in the back panel. And now what this does is allow for your money to kind of slip out the back. The recipient can just pull the money right out the back so you don't have to rip the whole card apart to get your money out. I got a $20 bill, uh, but if you wanna be highfalutin, feel free to roll up a hundo. You know what I'm saying, 100 or 50, but I, I got 20, that's what I had on hand. So slipping that in the back little slit, uh, laying down my little lip balm pouch, and I'm just kind of seeing where this all needs to go. First time I'm assembling this, so I really didn't know what I'm doing. But listen, if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, I did a little tape runner on the top just so I could get this lined up 
to make sure that my pouch is indeed in the right spot. And then down along the bottom, I used a little score tape just to make sure it was fastened securely. Um, but you could use liquid glue, whatever type of adhesive toots your flute. A little bit of score tape on the left and right. You don't need a ton, just enough to secure that little pouch down. And I'm sure there's maybe smarter, more efficient ways to adhere this whole thing together. This is just how I did it. See how you can slip that money out the back? And uh, this, this is really a neat feature. I like that instead of having to rip the thing apart. Okay, now to uh, add a little festivity, I'm making a little Santa hat. This is the Christmas Compliments dynamic set. Did a little red, a little white. Again, this is cardstock that came in the kit. Uh, so a little Santa hat. And there's also some stockings, uh, some Christmas trees. Now back to that Christmas cash stamp set. I'm doing a little, there's these little sub sentiments that you can add. And I'm going to emboss Christmas cash on a piece of this teal. Again, cardstock that came in the kit. I'm going to emboss this in white again because it pop pop pops. And then there are these little um, kind of flag banner dies, for lack of a better term, that I'm going to die cut this with that are part of that money card dynamics die set. See how it's a little kind of flag? And this hangs downward. Uh, I'm going to just drape it. Just drape it right down the right side. And, um, oh, I forgot. There's two little dies if you want to make it a tag. You could also make it a card. But if you want to make it a tag and you want to add that extra little opening at the top, and since this was a bit of an afterthought, I couldn't really, I had to slip it in the end of my die cutting plates because it was already bulky with the money pouch. But you can do that if you ever don't think ahead like me. Slip it in the bottom of your cutting plates. No one will know the difference. And that's what you call a little trick of the trade. Uh, for those of you who don't think ahead like me. Now, you could see that I may, I may or may not have done these things in the wrong order. Uh, and But you can learn from my mistakes and do it in the correct order. Uh, make it now like a little, what do you want to call it? Like a price tag. I did a white little backer with some green circle and then a little money symbol out of metallic gold and then i'm going to pop this up just just on the right just for an extra little money embellishment and then i'm threading a bit of gold ribbon that i had on hand just some old this is just to zhuzh it up on top you could just add some twine if you want to hang this on the tree or hang it on top of a uh, a gift however you want to hang it and a little black and white twine tied in a bow and then here's what I like to do sometimes when I'm feeling really fancy schmancy. Not that you have to, but it does add a little bit. I fold my ribbon in half and I cut it on an angle. And that is what you call highfalutin tag topper. Okay, so there you have your Christmas cash kit tag. You can slip the money out the back. It's so cute. And I've never seen anything like this before. So it's very original kind of really unique now if you were thinking that's great but what about the rest of the year got you covered there's a lot of fun add-ons that can make this stretch throughout the years beyond the christmas season okay here's the first thing a gift card pocket maybe you run out of lip balm pouches well you can just make a pocket and then maybe you want to give cash money here's the gas money and the filler up dynamics. Really cute, makes a little gas pump or speedometer. And then there's some gas money sentiments. There's also the tooth fairy wishes and the tooth fairy dynamics. So you can make a little tag or pouch or cash thingamajiggy for someone who lost their tooth. We also have the birthday cash and birthday basics dynamics for birthday projects and then last but not least you got the coffee coffee bean background um coffee break companions dynamics and the coffee break stamp set all of these add-ons can be used beautifully with the christmas cash kit and the money card dynamics so i'm going to do one more and make this one a birthday so i cut the panel out of white i did a little what's this called the gift card pocket out of more of that feeling festive 
paper, add another little border on the top. So you got the pocket on the bottom, border on the top, and I'm just using liquid glue to adhere my gift card pocket. And you could also use tape runner or score tape, however you want to do that. And that makes a fun little pocket down at the bottom that you could put cash in. It also holds a gift card. I'll show you at the end the different options. Okay, so I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the birthday cash. I love this. There's some great sentiments. This one says, I'm bad at shopping, but good at gifting. I just think that's really cute. And I stamped that in black right onto that white backer panel. Now to add the little festiveness, I'm going to die cut a few cupcakes. These are from the Birthday Basics Dynamics, which has cupcakes, a little shopping bag, party hat, a crown, if you want to make it like for a princess. So I just did some vanilla cupcakes with a few different pink frosting on them. Everything just to kind of coordinate with the pattern paper that I have here. Gluing it all together with liquid glue and just two cupcakes. Keeping it simple. You know, you don't have to wear yourself out. But there's also candles if you want to add a few candles to the top of the cupcake or if you want to just add a few candles by themselves you can do that as well i'm going to go ahead and emboss another little sub sentiment from that birthday cash stamp set i'm going to emboss it in white onto the pink cardstock that comes in the christmas cash kit and what does this say let the celebration begin i like this one because it can be used for a lot of different occasions beyond birthday you know maybe new year's maybe get a promotion uh, just any milestone. So I'm popping that up right underneath my stamp sentiment, popping up the cupcakes, and uh, I'll show you how the cash fits in. You kind of have to fold it a couple times to tuck it nicely down in there. Again, just using a 20. Uh, but also a gift card actually fits beautifully as well. Just snug as a bug in a rug like that. Now again, afterthought, I decided to turn it into a tag. You could easily put this on a standard size card as well. A little ribbon and twine for the top. And there you have two little cash tags. And one for the holidays and one for a birthday. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the My Favorite Things website for more inspiration using this Christmas cash kit along with the add-ons. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.